Let us look at this two right angle triangle. This is triangle ABC and angle BAC is 60 degrees and it has a height of one unit. And this other red right triangle is triangle EDC. It has angle DEC as 45 degrees and an hypotenuse of the square root of three. When we place the two triangles side by side, they share the same base. The red area shows the overlapping right angle region formed between them. F is their point of intersection. We are to find the portion shaded red. Note, this diagram is not drawn to scale. Now let us solve. Now let us focus on triangle EDC. This angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees. So this angle will be 45 degrees. Therefore, we can say that this triangle EDC is an isosceles triangle. Since this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is also 45 degrees. And because it is an isosceles triangle, side ED will be equal to side DC. Now, if we label ED as X, then DC will also be X. Now, we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem on triangle EDC. Pythagoras theorem says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. In triangle EDC, we will have EC squared equals to ED squared plus DC squared. So when we substitute the values, we will have the square root of 3 squared equals to X squared plus X squared. We simplify, we still have the square root of 3 squared equals to 2X squared. That is the same thing as 2x squared equals to 3. Now let's divide both sides by 2. We have x squared equals to 3 over 2. And let's take the square root of both sides. We are going to have the x equals to the square root of 3 all over the square root of 2. Now let us rationalize. Rationalizing means multiplying both the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by the denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to have the square root of 3 all over square root of 2 times the square root of 2 all over square root of 2. So square root of 3 times square root of 2 will be equal to square root of 6 all over. Now root 2 times root 2 will give us 2. So, so x equals to the square root of 6 all over 2. Here we can see that this is which is the length of this triangle is root 6 all over 2. Next, I want to focus on triangle ABC. This point is 90 degrees. Here is 60 degrees. So this angle will be 30 degrees. That is, if you add 90 plus 60 plus 30, it will give you 180, which is the sum of angle in a triangle. Next, we are focusing on triangle FDC. Let us call length FD as H. In this right angle triangle, we have an angle which is 30 degrees and one side is root 6 all over 2. So we are to find the value of H. Now let us recall this trigonometry ratio. Sin theta equals to opposite all over adjacent. In our problem, theta here is 30 degrees. So we have tan 30 degrees equals to opposite here is the H all over the adjacent, which is root 6 all over 2. So tan 30 equals to 1 all over root 3. So I am going to substitute 1 all over root 3 into the place of tan 30, and we will have 1 all over root 3 equals to H all over root 6 over 2. Let me rearrange this equation. We will have 1 all over root 3 equals to 2h all over root 6. Let us cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we have 2 root 3h equals to root 6. Now let us divide both sides by 2 root 3. When we divide by 2 root 3, we have 
h equals to root 2 all over 2. So we have found the value of h, h equals to root 2 all over 2. Now that we have found the base and the height of triangle FDC, let us go ahead and find the area of triangle FDC. The formula for area of a triangle is half base times height. Let us substitute the values into the formula. Area of triangle FDC will be equal to 1 over 2 times root 6 over 2 times root 2 over 2. So that will be equal to root 12 over 8, which is also equal to root 3 times root 4 all over 8. Also equals to 2 root 3 over 8. Then when we solve for that, finally we have root 3 over 4 as our answer. Kindly like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.